Hello. Hasn't been a video on this channel. Long ass time. Life happens. Stuff happens. I don't know. No one's in any problem or trouble or anything like that, or there's any other issues going on. It's just, you know, the way life is. Uh, so. Superbloom. New Silent Planet album. Let's see how it is. I don't know. I mean, I've heard this the singles. Uh, although they did just release a music video for, I think it's Offworlder. I think it's the second track. I don't know. I made a playlist of this just to, as soon as this dropped. Um, so that's there. I haven't watched the music video. So that'll be new, but I've seen the rest of the stuff, heard everything else, and it's all really good because it's Silent Planet, so it's all really good. So let's go. Woohoo! I do know the story behind uh, the album, how it's related to their crash. But I'm not really sure how the crash relates to a whole bunch of alien stuff and also what a super bloom is. So maybe we'll find out. Then again, I'm bad at interpreting lyrics, so. Nice ambience, they're always good to ambience. That's a nice bass. I like the bass. Ready for it. I might lower this slightly on the video here. Just so we don't blow everything out. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, new music video, let's see. That's different looking. Interesting. The mixing is so good. What is happening in this video? <laughs> that was an interesting sound. fight situation going on is an interesting choice. It's like kind of sloppy, but I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> I'm not criticizing the directing or choreography, I just think it's, it's interesting. Get those bends in there. That's some scratchies. Something exploded. <laughs> I 
Is that the whole song? Damn, that's the whole song. Okay. Uh, huh. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, it's... It, I mean, it just does the job. Hits you right in the face with that one. Uh, <laughs> um, I have seen... Okay, so I did see the r slash metalcore thread, which... Here, no, let me move my self over here a little bit so there's a little bit more room in the video uh you know see my gross ass face taking up most of the screen uh <laughs> um but uh and i saw it was overall very positive but i did see some people saying it's not as interesting and as progressive as the older stuff which i i can see that both in terms of this track but also the singles somewhat um my stance is i don't really care as long well as long as it still sounds good and it sounds like them then it's fine and i think that this is fine as it is. I think especially as a lead-in, as a beginning of the album leading in from the intro, the ambient intro, to I believe Collider is the next track, so that would fit perfectly. So yeah, overall, it's fine, it's good, you know. So keep going. Collider's fucking awesome, so you know, I know that's gonna be great, but anyway. This this track is fucking sick. <laughs> the chorus, of course, is fantastic, and the breakdown is, you know. Does it kill you to see me? Garrett has been, with his singing, has gotten like he's really good with with. That. I mean, I always thought he was a good vocalist, of course, but this is sort of like proved it, I guess. I don't know. At least the singing, the screaming was always... He had very unique screaming, so I could see, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? These beds are just so... <laughs> this video, though, is fucking, with all the fireworks and shit going off, is really cool. <laughs> Firecrackers, whatever you want to call it. I'd like to see sort of behind the scenes for some of these videos. Thank you. <laughs> this might be my favorite song of the single. I don't know. It's really hard to pick. I'm trying so hard not to just sing to this because you don't want to hear my ass. I do have to say, uh, this part of the video is kind of funny. I don't know if that's the right word, but just the fact that it's all just like spinning around like a tree. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then you have this part. Ball beds, I'm sorry, you cannot go wrong with them as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> if you put them in stuff like that. Ugh. So good. So good. Ugh. There's one part near the end that I love a lot. It, it plays earlier on too, but I'll point it out specifically when we get to the point of it. I fucked with the timing on that. <laughs> Right here, the guitar how it slowly goes up. Right, that slow steps up for that. I don't know. I really like that. Okay, okay pause it quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, Collider's fucking awesome. Uh, if it's not my favorite single, then Signal is my favorite single, which is hard to say a single favorite single, but anyway, I think I just said it wrong. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, this... It's hard to pick between these two, to be honest. This one's a bit more traditional in terms of the, stru the structure than Signal, but... I don't know. This flash fucking dope as hell. Um, yeah, I think it's a new song after this. I don't remember what's next. Because I believe it's like a couple new songs, two or three, and then it goes to... I think it's Antimatter, and then Signal, and then Anunnaki, and then it's all new after that. I think that's the order. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. Nice little plep. Euphoria. I really like the electronic y bassy stuff very um north lane like alien obsidian north lane which is a compliment <laughs> yeah i was not sure how much electronic stuff would be in this album because animatter had a lot uh, the other songs had a little bit, the other singles a little bit, but these non-singles have had a lot. Well, counting off whether it's a non-single. Mmm. Jared's loads. It's gotten so good. Ooh. The little guitar things on that. Despite the guitar playing not being, like, as much in the prog direction as their older stuff, they have a lot of little flares and stuff, which I really appreciate. I think works really well. The drumming, too. Um, yeah. Mitch, Alex, and Nick, I believe, is the new bassist. Please, Thomas. Yeah. Wait, who is this singing? I don't know. It's not Garrett. So would this be... I don't know. I know Thomas did a lot of singing before, but, you know, he's not the band anymore, so... to the end, transitioning into the dream catch? Is that the next song? I don't remember. Let's see when it loads up here. What does it say? Dream Walker. The last song was cool. It didn't remind me of Scorch Lane. But... You could a pigeon pigeon deck, <laughs> you know.
Interesting. That was almost like Jonathan Davis-y? I don't know, that was interesting. Another big chorus. Deep fucking work. This reminds me of somebody. I can't place it right now. Oh! Fuck that guitar, dude. Getting into this with this chorus, I know I'm gonna be playing this album over and over and over again, of course. But this chorus is gonna be amazing. Mm. Plenty of time. Nope, we're about to finish. Okay. I'm gonna stop now. Um, I believe Snow Antimatter's next, I think. Um, yeah, that was, that was good. <laughs> it's hard I, it's hard for me to say anything besides just, that was good. Because it's good. Um, I don't know, what else can I say? Uh, I'm drinking giant ginger ale. It tastes good. I, diet ginger ale is better than ginger ale, and it's better than most other sodas. I'll just say that right now. I hope it don't burp really loudly into the microphone. But my stomach was feeling a little mean, so I wanted some ginger ale. Anyway. Uh, yes, I believe antimatter's next. Uh, so yeah, so antimatter. Am I still recording? Good, I am. Okay. I do have to say, every reaction I've seen to this song, they call it antimatter, which is not an incorrect way to say the word, but in the song, he says it antimatter. So it's just weird that nobody says antimatter when talking about the song. <laughs> and I always heard it as antimatter for antimatter. But I mean, it doesn't matter, I just think it's weird. <laughs> but yeah. I think it'd be really interesting going through this whole album 
not stopping and just taking it all in, not really, you know, making a video or anything like that. And just feeling the flow of the whole thing through to this. I think it's, I think it works quite well to kind of get from Dreamwalker into this, because that's how this works, but yeah. Definitely cool that this, it, it, it is an interesting choice for, well, it's not the first single, but it's the first one really leading up to the album because Signal was released a year ago. Interesting choice, I think it worked, it got a lot of attention to it, it's good. That's that I think this is my least favorite single, but it's not bad by any means. It's just, it's good. It's, you know, real good. It's really interesting new sound. Um, but, you know, one of them has to be my least favorite. I think it's this one. So, that just... Eh. This part of the video is really cool. I, uh, this The effects for this, with the stretching and stuff, I, I like that a lot. That's cool. Though. Come on, let's go for hell. That one's really cool, I like that one. Yeah. I was gonna say, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> That's a cool one. I don't know. Everyone should, of course, watch and stream this on their own, obviously. Don't just... You know, give them the views. They, they need the tiny little bit of ad room that they're gonna get anyway. <laughs> I have premium. I'm giving them the tiny little bit of money I would anyway with watching this. But you do your part. <laughs> mm. Best part of the song. I like his little dance he does there. <laughs> I'm curious to hear. Okay, I'm just gonna let this. I'm gonna let this go to the next song because next song is Signal, I believe. Yes. 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 Um, I'm curious on the actual album. Does this sort of atmospheric ambient part is this in the actual al album or is it just was it just for this thing released last year i don't know i have to find out once i'm you know done with all this but i wanted to include the videos because it's something to look at and you know i like the videos i want to see them anyway so. and there was a new one so yeah yeah signals fucking dope Collider is not my favorite single. It's this. It's just so fucking. <sighs> and the fact that again, this was released last year, coming off of Iridescent, which had released like barely half a year before that, before this, this was like a, this is a surprise. It was like, holy shit, they're going this way. Okay. And yeah, I think it's, it, yeah. I see how we get to. Super blue. Oh, man. Mm. This video is cool too. The lyrics on the page works really well.
I love the best. Oh, and here we get to like this breakdown. Maybe the best breakdown of the album so far. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the album, but yeah. Uh, this may have been my favorite song of all of last year. So. Oh, the build up is so good. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Don't have enough space to fucking blast. <laughs> And although that like sound that like I can't do it, but yeah, it's just ah. And then how this transitions into Anunnaki with this vocal sample here. Like, does this little atmospheric part here, is this actually in the album for Anunnaki, or does it just go directly into the part after the vocal sample right here? I don't know, I'm curious how it's gonna play out. Yeah. Very curious to see how that works, but yeah. <laughs> I think this is the least interesting, interesting of the the pre-release singles, but still hits like a bitch. So you know, yeah. <laughs> also, midstream, yes. Alex's drumming in this is so good. Get the blast beats going! So good. Yeah, the whole hand thing from the signal video. Yeah, I. Mm. And in this part, waiting for the breakdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, oh, you. I love that. I, I love that. That's so cool. And I know everything after this is new. I think it's four tracks, although one of them is sort of a. It's like a one minute interlude. I actually think it's the one right before the finale, which is the title track. Overgrowth. Oh. Uh, 
What does this sound like? Mm, it's giving me vibes of something. Like having the bass focus. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, hit the mic. This feels kind of like older Silent Planet. The time signature diff change was interesting. It sped up a little bit. It's gonna slow back down. I think it did? I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> Interesting song, definitely diff different, kind of weird, uh, uh, structure wise. That was cool, that was cool, yeah. Okay, next, what's next? Nexus. The little thing going in the back. Try to tell what he's saying. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, that higher pitch. Yeah. Mm. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, don't stop. Keep going, hit me. Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting. I like this one. This is this, this is really good. Look back. 
This, yeah, this, this, this one's really, this is cool. I like this one a lot. I believe he said when everything was sound earlier. Which is their second? I think it's their second full album. Because I think Come Wind, Come Weather was an EP. Oh, Inhabit the Wound. Mm, okay, this is all about everything in the sound. Oh, what do these chunks remind me of? Oh shit, they remind me of something. I think it's a load song. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is bothering me so much. The end of aggressive evolution. That's something else. Okay. Yeah, this is all about um everything was sound when everything was uh, everything was sound. Heart of the machine. Inhabit the wound. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm really curious to look at the lyrics for this. I definitely want to check my track analysis of this for sure. Whenever that's gonna happen, because I think that'd be that's really helpful. Okay. The leave next is re-entry, which is a like a one minute track that leads into the title track. Super cool. Yep. Re-entry. Is fifty two seconds. This album felt, felt short. That's my only criticism, really, I can give. But it just means you can listen to it more often. Very curious to hear the finale of this. It is the longest song, I believe. I believe I saw it was five minutes. So. This is... This is really cool. Yeah. 
Are we getting a mood change? Vibe break down here. The vibe down. I'm not going to see how much is left. If this is the fade out to the end, it's the fade out to the end, but if there's more, there's more. That was interesting. That was interesting. Okay. Good interesting, just to clarify. Um, as with all, so some of my albums, I always feel like, okay, disclosure. Silent Planet along with Loathe are my two favorite bands. So this was guaranteed to be really high on my list. It was probably, honestly, to be honest, this is probably guaranteed to be my favorite album of the year. Um, but, and I noticed this happened with Iridescent. Um, when I first listened to Iridescent, I liked it, but it was, it didn't like, you know, it wasn't top, top, top for me. Um, but it, after a few listens and getting the vibe of it, it did become that. When I kind of got familiar with the songs, it did become that. I'm predicting this will as well. Um, it's so hard on a first listen, really, to get the real sort of rankings of everything and everything like that. Um, Nexus was cool, for sure. Dreamwalker was cool. Um, Overgrowth was an interesting uh, song of a diff different vibe, for sure. Of course, all the singles are great. Um, this last track was also really interesting, especially as a finale track. Because it's different, really, feeling from all the other finales that they've done. Um, Depths 2, because uh, well, what was it? It was Depths 2, Inhabit the Wound, Depths 3, and then Iridescent. Um, yeah, they're all pretty different vibes from this. Um, honestly, all the other endings were, like, very melancholy. And, uh, well, this one wasn't. This was, like... I don't know. It is it's an interesting choice. Okay. If I'm trying to be hypercritical, and I am being I'm being devil's advocate and hyper, you know, critical here. Um a lot of the songs do feel kinda samey. Um no, I mean a lot of the songs, but there there's number they feel kinda samey. And like for me, okay, I'm thinking like a song like this 
in the middle of the album, maybe even a little bit after the end, yeah, maybe like after Anunnaki or something. Could have been interesting to sort of break things up a little bit. So I, I could say that is maybe a potential criticism, but at the same time, maybe that's sort of what antimatter kind of feels like as it, because it is kind of it is right in the middle. It is a bit of a shift in tone. It's a little bit, you know, slower and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely positive for sure. Obviously. Um, the question is how positive and I mean, it's, you know, it's good for sure. It's high. Um, it's just going to be curious to see where this matches up, namely with the other Silent Planet albums and how I really feel about them. Cause I'll be honest, I don't really have a good ranking of the Silent Planet albums because all of them are really good out of 10. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, um, they're all a little bit different, but I, you know, love all of them, basically. So it's, I, I don't know. This is, this is definitely not like a step below all of that for me, um, but it will still take a few listens for me to really kind of get the feel of all this. I do feel like it's a little bit short. That's my one kind of criticism, I guess that's to say. A little bit short and a little bit samey, but... Again, those are really small nitpicks because what we do have, the sound that we do have, is really, 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 really good. So, yeah, that's, you know, that's that. Um, in terms of how this ranks for this year, I mean, again, it's going to take a few more listens. It's probably going to end up at number one because it's Silent Planet, and I fucking love Silent Planet. But um, it's interesting because also it's very different compared to what else I have really high on my list already. Because right now the stuff that's at the top of my list is actually a very it's actually very close between um, Aviation's Luminaria album, uh, Hypnosis album Sheol, um, which those two are already very different from each other. <laughs> uh, you know they're both prog. Uh, Sleep Token, of course, um, and Tesseract are sort of my top four right now. Um, Invent Animate is like a tiny step below those, and then after it goes, you know, down from there. We get like Periphery and Stoneside. Um, what am I forgetting right now? I don't remember. I don't want to look at my list right now. Um, Kim Dracula is not near the top, but it's on the list, on the list at least. Um, Oh, the the EP uh shit. Um Heaven's Gate, their EP is on there. Um Oh, the Ocean, Holocene by the Ocean. So anyway, that's the stuff that I have on my list right now. Um so Silent Planet will probably end up on the top of that just as a Silent Planet, but also just because I think it's really good. I still really like the album. I think the vibe it all is great. Um I do think Signal and Collider are probably still my favorite songs listening to everything through. Nexus is really cool, though. Nexus definitely is really cool. The, the connections to everything with sound is actually really cool. I, I really want to see lyrics. I want to see a breakdown of this. Although we didn't get a breakdown of Iridescent until shortly before we started, right before we started getting signals, singles uh, for this album. So hopefully we don't have to wait, you know, a year and a half before we start getting track by track spot. We'll see. So, but yeah, this is really good. Um, I'm probably not going to do this for anything else this year. I don't think so. Uh, and there's not really anything else coming up that I'm really excited for. There's Earthside in two weeks, which hopefully will be good. I, I really love Let the Truth Speak, um, but the other tracks are... I'm honestly not a real fan of instrumental stuff, so eh, we'll see. Um, well, the Spirit Box EP is today, which I will listen to in my own time, and that's probably, you know, at least going to be good. <laughs> we'll see how good, but, you know, good. Um... The only other thing I have on my radar, I think, is, um, oh, there's a Loon EP next week, and then also December 1st, I believe, is Unprocessed. I think that's all I have on my plate right now left over, so we're good to know the end of the year, so, yeah. I do plan on making an end-of-the-year list um, and putting that up for these music. In terms of other videos, when they'll come back, I don't know. Um, again, life stuff's gotten in the way for all of us so who knows um, i want to do more i think they want to do more but i don't know anyway we'll see hope you enjoyed uh if you do like this if you do like this you like this because it's not a plane don't give a shit about me uh <laughs> so um definitely give them the views give them the streams the buy their merch i did my part not just with views but also um I bought the, I have the wall flag thing for this album. It's 
way over there though, so I'm not gonna read it. Uh, and uh, I did order a shirt, which hasn't arrived yet. I don't even think it's actually shipped yet. I should probably go look at that. Um, but yeah, so I did my part. Support the man. Support your artists. Yay. Um, and there you go. Uh, see you next year for whenever Loathe drops their album, <laughs> probably. Uh, but yeah. Bye-bye.